The virtual camera feature in OBS Studio is an incredibly useful option, and many individuals are not aware of how to utilize it effectively or how to truly take full advantage of this particular option. Here, I'm going to open the browser, and we're going to do two things. First, I'm going to open OBS here, and you'll be seeing me. In this case, as you can see on the right side, we have several options. Start streaming, start recording, start virtual camera, studio mode, settings, and exit. We have this section to start the virtual camera. If we go to settings here, then we can select the type of output, whether it's internal, by scene, or by source. So what does internal mean? What I currently have displayed on the screen will be mirrored in my virtual camera. If I have it configured to scene, it implies I can opt to mirror the initial scene, the subsequent scene, the third one, or directly the source. If I opt for the source, then what I am able to do is choose a device, which means I have the option to select either my camera or I can just choose the browser or any other option. Let's attempt each of these options so you can observe how each one operates. Initially, there's the internal option, so let's maintain it as it is. Precisely as you perceive it, this is the camera you observe. Therefore, let's evaluate it in this manner. In this scenario, I have just joined a meet and I will position the screen here. I'll mention it on the alternate screen so you can see. It's precisely identical. It won't solely be on the OBS screen. It will be present here on the meet screen. As you can observe, if I navigate to settings, well, to configuration and subsequently to video, I have my webcam selected, but that webcam is already being utilized in OBS, which is what you're witnessing on the screen. So what transpires? The camera seems to appear here as if it has malfunctioned, but it hasn't genuinely failed. It's just that the uh, PC Meet or any other application doesn't permit, or perhaps Windows might be the reason, doesn't permit us to utilize the same camera concurrently multiple times. In this scenario, we initially use it for OBS, then for Meet. And if we open Zoom or another application that requires a camera, it won't permit us to use it. So what do we do in this situation? We simply click on where it says start virtual camera. As you can observe, I've already initiated it and then minimize OBS just like that. Let's move it. There's my camera as I mentioned. But here I'll navigate to where it says video. And instead of selecting my webcam as it is, I'll search for where it says OBS virtual camera, which is this one here. And witness this magic OBS virtual camera. And we're practically viewing the same content that's in my OBS. So literally, if I position it here, as you can see, my camera is visible here too. And if I make the camera smaller in OBS, as you can see, it will also become smaller here in Meet. And the same will occur for Zoom, Microsoft Teams or any other platform. We just need to select OBS virtual camera in the video section. However, as you can see, sometimes some individuals might not prefer this because they might be recording something else or directly displaying something on the PC and don't want it to be visible on the camera. For instance, if I play something else here, let's say I position it in the center but simultaneously make the camera disappear or whatever, any modification I make in OBS will be reflected in the virtual camera. So to prevent this, let's return here. Let's deactivate the camera to avoid confusion. Let's open OBS here and as you can see, we'll stop the virtual camera here. I can still see myself because this is OBS, but if I stop the virtual camera, I forgot to demonstrate this. If I stop the virtual camera, you'll see this symbol indicating there's no camera. If I start the virtual camera again, it appears here immediately. But if I don't want everything I'm doing on the platform to be visible, well, on the screen, for example, let's activate the virtual camera again and let's add something. Let's put text here and I'll write hello and accept anything, accept. As you can see, this text appeared directly here. Let's modify it so it can be seen. Let's write hello here and leave it. As you can see, it appears directly. But if I don't want that to be seen while I'm modifying it, as you can see, first of all, it appears rotated in mirror mode. We can configure that if we want, but at this moment, I don't see it as a priority. If you want me to create a video specifically about that, let me know. Then let's stop the virtual camera as I mentioned. Let's say I don't want it to be seen. Let's add the hello text again. Let's say that even though I have the hello text, I only want my camera to be visible. Uh, that's when we go to settings, go to where it says output selection, sorry, in output type. Uh, here we'll select source and in source we'll select the camera we're using at the moment. I'm using this one here. Sorry, let me check the name. A video capture device 2 so let's select that as i mentioned source video capture 2 i'll accept and when i start the virtual camera it will automatically show that source meaning only my camera it won't show the text here i'll start the virtual camera and as you can see the text doesn't appear anywhere but i still have it here in obs in this manner, I can effortlessly alter the scene if I'm concurrently recording something else while capturing a video, documenting the desktop, or showcasing how I'm playing a game, or whatever the situation might be. I can share my camera with another application, another source, or another platform such as Google Meet, Teams, or any other. In this scenario, it's from a source, but it also operates by scene. For example, let's say I'm going to stop it here, and I navigate to settings and wish to switch it to a scene. Then, I'm going to select the initial scene that, for me, is named Cameras. 
For you, it might be labeled scene one, scene two, or something else. I'm going to name it more appropriately like the screen, which I want to be shared. So look, I'm not going to change the scene, but my screen will automatically be visible because it's scene number two that I have. So I'm going to leave it there still, attempt to start the virtual camera. And as you see, my desktop is visible here. Everything appears reversed, as I mentioned, and we can change that. To do this is straightforward. We have the camera here, right click on it, go to where it says transform and directly select rotate horizontally. It would appear in mirror mode. But if I activate it, and well, I have to configure it here, remember internal, well, blah, 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 start virtual camera, and the same would happen with the hello, right click, transform, flip, rotate horizontally, and hello would appear. Here in OBS, it appears reversed, but facing the people, we will appear as we should, and basically that's all. It's the same in Google Meet, Teams, or any other program, and there you can do it with each program. There's the virtual camera function of OBS. See you next time. Bye-bye.